For any continuous plant with compressors, availability is a high priority. The cost of damage and process downtime due to compressor surge can run from thousands to millions of rands. The gas enters the compressor at the suction side of the compressor. In each stage, the gas enters the axis or eye of the impeller in an axial direction. The impeller accelerates the gas and converts the increased velocity energy of the gas into pressure. The gas leaves the impeller and enters the diffuser which decelerates the gas. The gas flows out of the diffuser into the volute where the velocity is further decreased. From the volute the gas enters the next stage and the process is repeated. After the last stage the gas leaves the compressor at a much higher pressure and velocity than when it entered the compressor. At a steady operation, the flow through a stage of the compressor follows a certain pattern. As the flow to the eye of an impeller is reduced due to changing process conditions, a circulatory flow is established at the eye of the impeller. This happens because the impeller flow passage is not completely filled with gas. The gas then starts to pack against the back disc of the impeller. These circulatory flow patterns increase with further flow decrease until it completely fills the flow passage of the impeller. At this point, the whole flow pattern through the impeller collapses and the impeller is no longer able to deliver the pressure it previously delivered. The pressure in the downstream piping of the compressor is now higher than the delivered pressure of the impeller and consequently the flow reversal from the downstream piping takes place through the impeller. This flow reversal will continue until the downstream pressure is below the pressure developed by the compressor. Forward flow will start again and the cycle will repeat itself until the operating conditions change or manual intervention takes place. This phenomenon is called surge. These reversals can cause severe damage as well as decrease the compressor and process efficiency dramatically. Protection against surge is achieved by recirculating the gas to ensure a minimum flow above the surge limit. However, excess recycle flow consumes energy, which results in lower efficiency. Moore Process Controls has developed a well-proven anti-surge control algorithm, utilizing tested features to protect a compressor against surges. Every compressor is unique and requires a different anti-surge control algorithm. This algorithm can be implemented on the 352 single loop controller, the PAC 353, as well as on APACs.